Hello there, this is Dave Allen for Mac Twitter Questions and for No Stylus, and today we're looking at some applications for geotagging your photos, both using applications on the iPad and iPhone, and also for an application that mirrors with it or sisters with it over on the Mac. So let's start over here on the iPad. Well, these are tracks that I've got on here that are from the iPhone, but I've managed to bring them across in here because I can't record from the iPhone, just so I can show you them. So basically this application is fairly simple to use. You've got your start GPS tracking, press that button and away you go. It'll record whatever you're doing and wherever you're going. And you've got your start short time tracking recording where you just do it for a certain amount of time. So if you want to take just 15 minutes with a recording, you can do that. That's, that's fairly handy. And then of course you can open the map and that shows you your map. At the moment it hasn't got any tracks on there. So what we need to do is we need to go to show recorded tracks. And these are ones that I've brought in from the iPhone. And this is the latest one I brought in. I did 12 kilometers. And there's the distance that I traveled. I started over in Plaja Daro and we moved back over towards Santa Cristina. And I haven't put any photographs onto that yet. I didn't take any photographs with the thing as I was going along. Because what you can do is I can um, press this button here. And uh, if I start, if I've got a recording track going, then it will actually sort of put the photographs on the track as we go. And then you have to bring those photos into your computer at a later stage. They don't go into the photo roll, so you have to bring them in sort of from the application itself. But that's okay, it's not too difficult to do that. And the other way to do this would be to take some photographs with the camera uh, on the iPhone rather than with this application. And then if you bring them in, then you can put them onto the uh, same track that you're recording. But let's get back into this. Let's go back into this, my tracks here. And let's say we've uh, got to show recorded tracks. So we've looked at everything we need to do on there. And the other thing to do is the synchronization. So you turn on your synchronization service. You go to on. And then you go to the application on the Mac. And then you can bring them in. And it works pretty well indeed. So that's looking at the uh, tracking side of it on your iPhone or on your iPad. So over on the right hand side I've got this My Tracks application. Now this is a paid for application whereas the one on the uh, iPhone and the iPad is free. But that's okay, it's not too expensive. I think it was about $15, uh, $16, something like that. So what I want to do is I want to get these photos. So starting with this one here through to this one here. Those are the photographs that I took that go onto this particular track. So. What I've done is I've selected the track here. That's where I want to put the photographs. And I've just got to drag these photos. Let's go back into iPhoto. Drag these photographs and drop them onto the application. Importing six photos into the library. And all six photos have been imported successfully. Well done. So now we can see where these photographs have been taken. So we've got uh, some photographs that were taken over here. This is in Plagidaro. And I took photographs here, which was in... San Filio de Guichols. That's about it really, that's all you need to do. So these are all my raw images here. So if I click on this one here, you see there's the photograph, look. And click on this one. And then this one here was the one that I took in Plagidaro of the Hotel Nautic. So there you go, that's how to get the photographs into the application. Now the thing is, if I go back into this iPhoto over here, then the place is still not being assigned. So if I click on this one here, you can see there's nothing in this uh, mapping thing down here at all. It's still saying that we're uh, nowhere. We're not actually sort of on the map. So I'll go to this button here and right exit tags to file. So what I really want to do is I want to select all of these and click right exit tags to file. And I'm telling it to put the GPS location on there, location information, keywords for location information and timestamps. And I'm going to click on OK. So it's updating the tags now of those six photographs. Don't have to do any moving the photographs anywhere else. The application MyTracks is looking at the photographs in the iPhoto app. So let's go back over to iPhoto and still there's nothing in there saying the place has been assigned. I need to select some photographs first. So let's select these. Let's do command, select that one there. Go to Photos again and take to Rescan for Location. Okay, so once you've got that done, you'll just see there that the uh, photograph is now with a geo tag on it. And the reason I got into doing this was because of the difficulty that you have with actually assigning a place to uh, your photos. So to be able to do this, what you need to do is you need to click on this little map here to assign a place. 
And one way of doing it is to sort of go to this here and start putting an address in there. So let's see if it finds it. It's found it. So we'll click on that there. And it's assigned a place. So I can go into this here now and uh, it shows me where on the app it is. But it's uh, got the wrong place actually. <laughs> a different Dell pins. Never mind. The map's so small, that's the problem with it, you see. That's why that's one of the reasons I wanted to change it. So I'll actually sort of move this and go over to find where the actual place is that I want. Okay, so I've got to go over here, find this on a really small map. Why can't the map be bigger? Okay, so that is why we need to have something that will actually find places. And besides, you don't want to do it all just one photo at a time like you have to do with this here. Um, it's far better if you can grab a whole lot of photos, drag them onto an application and have them all geotagged for you automatically without having to buy yourself an expensive new camera that's got geotagging as part of the deal. Another thing that you can do with this of course is to go out and take a photograph with your iPhone and your iPhone is already connected up to um, geotagging and have it apply the geotagging from one to another. Let's say this one is correct. So I'm going to press Command C to copy that. So this is a free way of doing some geotagging. And maybe I want to put all of these ones here on the same geotag as that one down there. So I'm going to select those there. So I've got these three selected. And what I want to do with those is I want to go to Edit and Paste Location. So the location now is pasted onto these three ones here and they've got the same location as this one here. So there you go, that's another way that you can do your photo tagging by taking a photograph with your iPhone at the same place where you're taking photos with your DSLR camera and copy the location across in iPhoto. And that's a quick way of doing it without spending any money. So this is Dave Allen for Max Questions and for No Stylus and we've learned how to do some geotagging of our photos. So bye-bye now. Talk to you again soon. Don't forget to click on that like button. Bye-bye now. Thanks for watching the video and why don't you check out the other videos. Here's two of them. There's one video there and one video there that you can click on and go and have a look at now. And don't forget that you can also subscribe. Talk to you again soon. Bye-bye now.